Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something amazing. I think the Grand Theft Auto Rockstar Games community is so incredibly talented. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at another example of just some incredible, tremendous work being done. And that is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Remastered. Now, this isn't coming officially from Rockstar, which is really unfortunate because I do think projects like this would be so cool. Like, wouldn't it be awesome if Rockstar had remastered Grand Theft Auto Vice City, had remastered Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, was planning on remastering Grand Theft Auto 4, or they could have even done it by now because it's already been its 10-year anniversary. Wouldn't that be so cool if they like re-released them with maybe some new features, better graphics, and stuff like that? In fact, I actually thought we were going to see that with Grand Theft Auto 4. Remember this photo right here that was actually Grand Theft Auto 4 but built in GTA 5's engine? It actually appeared on a Rockstar Games artist portfolio. And I thought Rockstar was either gonna be making a remastered version of Grand Theft Auto 4 or was gonna be incorporating Liberty City in Grand Theft Auto 5. So we haven't seen anything like that. And the only thing we've seen from the older Grand Theft Auto titles like Vice City, San Andreas, etc., is we've seen 10-year anniversary editions, we've seen, you know, additions that have been added to the Rockstar Games launcher so that we can play them on our PC, so that we can play them on PS4, backwards compatibility, but the graphics themselves have not been updated, and nothing has been changed, and obviously nothing new has been added. Well, just a couple of days ago, a group called Arcadia Squad, which is a trio consisting of Santiago Ibarra, Fabian Alvarez, and Juan David Gongaro, came up with the idea of remastering GTA San Andreas. And they actually started this project about four-ish years ago in 2016. And their most recent endeavor was actually uploading a trailer for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Remastered and what it would look like using the latest Unreal Engine 4. And I'll show you guys this trailer right now. It is absolutely incredible. Alright, so how jaw-dropping was that? Now, if you guys would like to check out the entire trailer for yourself, 
I will leave a link to Arcadia Squad's Twitter, their social media, their YouTube channel, their Patreon page that they actually have set up for this project in the description. That way you can support them. You can watch the trailer again without having it to be in my video if you want. You can keep up to date with the project and see what they're doing. So all of that will be in the description. Now, the only other info we got regarding this project was in the description of their video, which when I'm recording this video almost has 1.1 million views, which is incredible. So they said, we have a Patreon, which again, I will leave a link to in the description. If you want to see more content like this and contribute to increase the quality of our videos, this is a great alternative. The idea of GTA San Andreas Unreal Engine 4 was born four years ago, wanting to revolutionize the way of making GTA San Andreas machinimas. So Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Star Wars UE4 was made. The problem is that we were still limited by not having the entire map. Until now, we finally managed to recreate the world of GTA San Andreas in Unreal Engine, and here is the result. We worked very hard on this. It was already one year ago that we officially started the project, and we went through different phases. Here you can see a beta. And I'll also leave a link to that beta in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. They said, we hope you like, share, and subscribe for more. We'll be bringing uh, more videos very soon. And they go on to say, we want to remember that this is not a remake of the game. We did it to create machinimas and all the assets are from the original game. And it goes without saying that we do not attribute the creation of said assets, but all the work corresponds to the Rockstar artist. And at the very bottom, they say something interesting. We are not going to release anything. It's just a video. And I was actually kind of worried about this at first because very similar projects like this where old Rockstar maps have been modded into newer engines, whether that be GTA 5 or something altogether, those projects have actually been shut down by Rockstar. Two of the more recent ones that you probably were familiar with was a Liberty City map expansion that was going to be ported into Grand Theft Auto 5, and you'd be able to go back to Liberty City using mods on GTA 5 PC. And the other fan creation was the original Red Dead Redemption map that was going to be ported into Grand Theft Auto 5. But both of those projects were actually shut down by Rockstar. The creators of those mods were sent cease and desist letters saying, like, you've got to stop, otherwise we're going to sue you. And I always thought this was because eventually Rockstar was going to do something with those older assets. And we kind of saw that with Red Dead Redemption 2, how the original map was featured. Now, we don't know what Rockstar's future plans are for Liberty City or even other cities like Las Venturas or San Fierro, which you saw featured in the trailer. But it's probably a good thing that they actually don't plan on releasing this and then is more of a fan project. Now, I don't know what jurisdiction that Rockstar has if they created it in the Unreal uh, Engine 4, but since they did state they were using you know, Rockstar's assets, they probably still wouldn't be able to do so. So unfortunately, it looks like this is something we probably just won't be able to play ourselves. And this is why I said it would be incredible if Rockstar actually dedicated the time to like go back and create remasters of these old games. Like I think at this point in time, people are very frustrated with Rockstar and the fact that they've like continued to re-release GTA 5 instead of working on other projects. I think they would have a much more positive reaction if they did stuff like remastering Vice City, remastering San Andreas, not just making them backwards compatible and putting them out on the newest consoles. Uh, maybe that's an initiative that Rockstar will take once the PS5 and Xbox Series X are officially here, or maybe they just might think to themselves, we've got better things to do. We'd like to work on future projects like hopefully GTA 6 and other uh, really incredible Rockstar Games titles. Now, the reason I think GTA San Andreas would work so well as a proper remaster is, number one, it, it arguably is one of the most popular GTA titles. It clearly had a lot more sells than GTA Vice City, and I still t think to this day that even though Vice City is a great game, more people probably lean towards San Andreas as the one they prefer. It was definitely the most ambitious for its time, featuring three completely unique cities, Los Santos, Las Venturas, San Fierro. But the only problem with that is Rockstar was so limited to what they could do because they were creating that game on the PlayStation 2. So imagine if they had the technical 
freedom and flexibility to recreate that game with those three cities on like the PS5, PC, and Xbox Series X. It would look incredible. Could you imagine being able to explore all three of those cities? So I'm probably getting ahead of myself here, but this video, this trailer that we watched has really, really inspired me because I just think this is absolutely amazing. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this Grand Theft Auto San Andreas remastered trailer that we saw created in the Unreal 4 engine. Is this something you wish Rockstar would take the time to do, or you think they should just focus on future projects like GTA 6 and whatnot? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.